if you talk about questions we have more than 2000 number of questions which is a amazing thing that means you can find questions of easy category medium category hard category which are curated by your favorite content creator if you talk about people who have cracked microsoft or google or some big companies now uh, i'm a former microsoft intern i do have my uh, interview experience over there and you the guys can directly go check out my interview experience and directly code the question that came into my interview Hi everyone welcome back to another video and uh, today we are going to talk about my four life saving websites so i'm going to tell you those websites uh, which are used by a lot of coders around the world I, i mean even at this time thousands of users are using those websites so i'm going to directly dive into the video itself and if you're not yet subscribed to the channel please make sure that you subscribe to the channel because the websites that we are going to discuss are important for every one of you who whosoever is enthusiastic with um, programming uh, those those people who are code enthusiastic those who want to code and learn new things related to technologies this video is a must for them and also if you know uh, a bit of coding i mean you have done coding in the past like 3 or 4 months then i'm sure you must you might know all of these websites so let's start with the first one so this is a new website uh, i've recently found it and the website is very amazing the a uh, website as code studio it is uh, made by coding ninjas only so the website has a very beautiful ui and has a good um, question set if you talk about questions we have more than 2000 number of questions which is a amazing thing that means you can find questions of easy category medium category hard category along with the solutions which are curated by top users which are curated by your favorite content creator if you talk about people who have cracked microsoft or google or some big companies you have more than 650 plus interview bundles interview experience with a unique feature where you can attempt question directly from that interview question for example uh, i am a microsoft uh, uh, i am a former microsoft intern i do have my uh, interview experience over there and you the guys can directly go check out my interview experience and directly code the question that came into my interview which is which is a unique feature you won't get it out there along with that we have multiple mock tests we have a lot of contests and just make sure whenever you are trying to prepare for any company for example google make sure that you give a lot of contests because the sense of confidence that you require in yourself will not come from the problem set because when you give a problem when you do a problem Uh, directly from a no, no, directly from a problem set you don't have that particular uh, set of mind i mean I, what i'm talking about is uh, when you're giving a loose when you're doing a loose question that is out of the contest you don't have that pressure but when there is a contest you have a different pressure so you have to do better in uh, that pressure so for that contest are very important and we have a lot of mock tests and contest or code studio along with that we also have a knowledge center you know which is a amazing thing you will find a lot of uh, websites a lot of websites you are going to fi- find out here on net but they lack knowledge center you may find a lot of questions on uh, a lot of websites but not the knowledge center so in a knowledge in this knowledge center we have the video part as well where you can see video which are directly connected to our youtube streams our youtube videos we have, where we have all the content whether it be c++ whether it be java whether it be anything of another sort it can be even operating systems it can be maths so all of those videos are included in the website along with a uh, blog type uh, web pages where you can find all the necessary information about the particular data structure or particular stream for example os for example uh, dbms and different stuff so in all you get a big package which is language independent that means you can go directly in c++ java python and you have all the guided path here at one places with all those unique, unique features at just a single platform which makes it a very good website where you can practice so make sure if you have not uh, yet checked it please make a account and try code there because it has a very good ui and for me ui is a must for me i don't want a very dull website so because it has ui a very good user interface it is a bit catchy and very convenient where you get number of badges and different stuff 
So this was my first life saving website because you can code here and also you can just see the streak of yourself like whether you have done some practice on this particular day or not. You, you get to see a calendar in which you can see what contribution, what uh, question you did and how much questions you did, you practice how much submissions you did that particular day. So you have all these features are just single, uh, just a single platform which makes uh, Code Studio a very beautiful website to visit. So coming on to the second website, I'm sure a lot of time when you uh, make any kind of project, when you do, when you install some stuff, you face errors, right? Or sometimes when you try to learn new things, you have a lot of questions in mind. You have a lot of different stuff going in, in your mind and you have a lot of confu confusions. So for that, the second website here comes is Stack Overflow. I'm sure whenever you're writing an error, in the top five searches, you'll always see a Stack Overflow option. You'll always see a, a Stack Overflow tab. Why? Because Stack Overflow is used by millions of users out there. Every solution related to your coding part, related to your tech part is there on Stack Overflow. For example, a lot of time you, go, you try to make a new project, you try to learn something new and you try to install something, you'll face errors. For example, when you try to write commands over your command line, you'll face errors, right? And errors are okay. So when you copy paste those errors in the Google uh, bar, in the search bar, I bet it in the top five searches, you're going to see Stack Overflow because Stack Overflow has a lot of users around the world and they connect and they solve problems. So people try to do peer to peer solving. They do, they help you in some part and they, if they have some problems, someone else is going to help them. So it is a peer to peer network where different coders help each other to solve their problem. For example, even when I was in Microsoft, I used to face a lot of problem in terms of installation along with, uh, I, I just remember I had to use TPL uh, in my code and I don't know how to use it. I didn't know how to use it. So I used to go to Stack Overflow. Stack Overflow made it very easy. It tells you everything about it. Not only with the uh, commands, the syntaxes, it gives you a particular, it gives you a good explanation as well. So Stack Overflow in all is a very good website that you should check and company has their own Stack Overflow where they push question which are confidential, uh, where they push answers which are confidential to that particular company. So every company like for example, my company Microsoft has its own Stack Overflow where only the users of Microsoft can see and post their questions. So in all, it makes Stack Overflow a very beautiful website which helps coders around the world to solve their problems. Right, because at some place, somewhere has already solved their problem and they are trying to give the solution to your problem and they they are going to help you. And this is how uh, our community, coder, coders as a whole, our community is going upwards and upwards. It's boosting, right? So this was my second life-saving website, Stack Overflow. Let's come to the third uh, important website, a life-saving website, which is medium.com. So when I come to medium dot, how many of you like to read text? I'm sure I was not a text reader. I, I, I literally hated books. I don't like to read text, but it is important. Why? So whenever you're trying to learn a new thing, a new technology, the best way to learn a new technology is reading documentation. Even when you're going to see a lot of content creators over YouTube, they're going to tell you, please read the documentation. And because the reason is documentation is crisp data. It is actual data. It is not, uh, it is the correct data that you're going to see. So always try to read documentation. Now, how will you get a habit of reading documentation? Blogs are going to help you. I'll tell you, uh, when I went into Microsoft, there were a lot of different stuff, which were new to me, like a lot of different stuff. I didn't, uh, since I'm being, uh, since I'm from, uh, electronics background, I don't know much about computer science background. So there were a lot of things that, that were new to me and, uh, I had no medium to read it. So there was a friend who told me like medium.com is a particular collection of website has very beautiful, well-written blogs and top, uh, I mean, there are top uh, writers who write those content, which is very beautifully written and exact and correct. So it is a whole website where you, you see multiple blogs. There are multiple people who write blog about that. You can just search whatever topic that you want to search for and you're going to get multiple blogs and then you can just go and read it. These blogs are so amazingly written and the best thing about medium.com is if you're a content creator, you get paid as well, depending upon how much traffic is going on on your page, particular page. And a best feature about uh, this medium.com is it is ad free. You would, you, 
you won't be seeing any kind of ad and which is a very good thing a lot of time when you open websites for reading anything for example any particular website x you see a lot of uh, rather than seeing information you see a lot of um, ads on the right hand side on the left hand side click that click this and a lot of time when you click it you are directed to some di uh, different page which is not the case with medium.com medium.com is a very good, a good website where you see just the information you can just go on search whatever you want to search for and reading blogs will make you uh, will make a good habit and you'll read documentation because documentation i mean reading the documentation while going in company is a must because a lot of new there's a lot of new stuff which a lot of people don't know about for example if you talk about hololens when i was uh, if you talk about HoloLens, HoloLens is not a very exposed technology of a very minimum number, very limited number of people know about it. So reading documentation related to HoloLens is better, better way rather than asking people because not a lot of people have idea about it. So third website being medium.com, it has all the collection of good blogs and you can go and read it over there and they're very beautifully written and it will uh, make your uh, reading habit very good. Coming on to the fourth website, I'm sure whenever you're using, whenever you're making projects, there's one website that you push a, uh, a project to, GitHub, right? So GitHub is a version control system. A lot of time when you make a project, you want to uh, have multiple versions, for example, version 1.0, version 2.0, version 2.3. So this GitHub, it is a version control system that helps you to save these versions on the GitHub repository as, uh, itself. So it helps you in a lot of way. Uh, whenever you make a uh, whenever you make a project, you push it over there in your repository, and you can collaborate uh, collaborate this uh, repository with multiple people out there, where people can give you feedbacks regarding your code, where you can uh, where you can add new features, where you can make new versions, and a lot of people are going to help you. The best and it is the actual case when you go in a company. When you go in a company, you try to push your code, and there are multiple teammates who tell you, yeah. Uh, tell you that this particular line of code can be written in a beautiful way. A lot of time you are going to see a refusal, a lot of time your code is not going to merge in the final uh, pipeline. So you are going to see these kind of things. So make sure that you use GitHub. If you have not yet made the account on GitHub, please try go and check this out. It's a very beautiful thing. Along with it, you also get a feature of seeing whether you have done some kind of contribution that particular day or not. Right. So in all, GitHub is a very good platform where you can check whether what contributions are being made to your project, what all things you're changing. You can see different versions. You can go back to the, you can roll back to the previous version. You can go to a new version. You can create multiple pipelines like, uh, with the new features. So in all, GitHub gives you a lot of support. And whenever you make a project, you always write the link to the project in your resume itself. Right. So. It tells you that you have actually made a project. Uh, mentioning your project in a resume will tell the interviewer that you're not bluffing it, right? So always mention uh, the GitHub link of your project in the resume itself so that uh, interview does not think that you're bluffing it, right? So GitHub is all important and you have to, you should always mention your GitHub account on your resumes uh, to tell that what contribution, what projects that you're currently working on or you have done. So these four were my, uh, favorite website, my four life saving websites and all you are going to learn a lot of different things from these websites. The first one being code studio where you can learn data structures and algorithms because it is a necessary when you go into a good company. Second one is stack overflow. Stack overflow has all the questions related to your technology, whether you talk about errors or anything else. Third medium medium helps you to uh, make a good habit of reading because whenever you go in a company, whenever you read a new tech documentation, reading is very important for this GitHub because Whenever you create a new project, you have to maintain multiple versions, hence the name version control system. So these four were my life saving websites and there are a lot of things to learn from these websites. If you have not yet checked out these websites, go and try and make account on these websites. These four websites are very beautiful and this was all from my side. I hope you liked it. If there's anything that you didn't like, please mention in the comment box below and I'll surely take care of the answer uh, in answering those. Thank you guys. Take care.